Hey guys, what's going on? I'm John Malecki and in this video I'm going to show you how I get my favorite reclaimed wood finish in three easy steps. Check it out. All right, step one is to brush the surface of the wood. You can do this lightly by hand with some type of wire brush or with a wire wheel. Here I'm using my Makita brush sander, which is my absolute favorite way to prep reclaimed wood. What I love about this technique is that you don't need to go over it with any more sanding after this. What the sanding method does is breaks the soft grain on the surface and makes it nice and smooth to the touch without removing the saw marks which is exactly what we're looking for in this instance. Any further sanding might actually remove the saw marks. Step two is the fun part where you get to start charring the wood. Now here I'm using map gas. You're not gonna wanna burn the wood to where it's actually charring on the surface. You're just gonna lightly go over it until you can start to see some depth in coloration. You can adjust the depth of color by using the flame closer to the wood as well as slowing down your pace. As you can see here, it's a lot darker and if I continue to go over the spots I've already burned, it darkens up as well. You wanna avoid trying to go too dark until where the surface chars. What happens there is that it becomes very brittle and it actually flakes off and gets into the finish. This is not good, it creates kind of a pasty and an uneven type finish. I try to avoid that by giving a nice pace and then lightly going back over the other spots. I typically follow the saw marks if they're there because that's the part I'm trying to highlight. I don't mind if it's darker or lighter or looks a little splotchy. It tends to even out once I apply finish. Step three, you're going to move on to applying finish. I prefer to spray. A few reasons for that. One is that I'm able to do it a lot faster. As you can see here, I'm using my cordless Graco sprayer. This thing's awesome. But if you're using a brush, you get a lot of the dirt and soot off of the wood onto the brush, and it tends to get a little bit pasty. You also ruin your can if you don't use a secondary can. I'm using Endurovar, which you all know is my favorite reclaimed wood finish. And I apply three to four coats. It gets a nice build and a great amber. I sand between coats if necessary, and that's about it. As you can see here, the saw marks pop awesomely, and I went from a few different... Here you're seeing poplar, pine, hemlock, and oak. They all blend together pretty nicely, which is awesome. When I'm doing something like this, which is for paneling, it makes a nice uniform look, and I can use up a bunch of different varieties. When building furniture, I tend to use the same hardwood, if possible, because of wood movement. So this is a really simple way to get an awesome finish on any type of wood. It's kind of like a hybrid shishigi bond. I don't fully uh, burn the wood until the oils come out and like seal themselves, kind of like that shishigi bond finish does. Um, but it does give a cool look, a nice uniform look across multiple species of reclaimed wood, and it helps those saw marks really, really pop. If you dig this video, make sure you check out my other reclaimed wood finishing video, um, as well as my other reclaimed wood finish projects. I'll throw some links up over here for those. If you're digging what I'm doing, I'd love a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to see what I'm doing in the future. Besides that, I wanna thank you guys for tuning in. Go punch your next project right in the face and I will see you on the next video.